It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. The great man is he who does not lose his child's heart. Friendship is one mind in two bodies. Kindly words do not enter so deeply into man as a reputation for kindness. Sincerity is the way to heaven. He who attends to his greater self becomes a great man, and he who attends to his smaller self becomes a small man. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight, even though the ruler forbid it. If fighting will not result in victory, then you must not fight even at the ruler's bidding. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious, even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby you can be the director of the opponent's fate. Invincibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. The person attempting to travel two roads at once will get nowhere. Human nature is evil, and goodness is caused by intentional activity. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. I dreamed I was a butterfly, flitting around in the sky, then I awoke. Now I wonder, am I a man who dreamt of being a butterfly, or am I a butterfly dreaming that I am a man? The object of rewards is to encourage, that of punishments, to prevent. If rewards are high, then what the ruler wants will be quickly effected, if punishments are heavy, what he does not want will be swiftly prevented. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. To know what you know and what you do not know, that is true knowledge. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential. These are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. By three methods we may learn wisdom, first, by reflection, which is noblest, second, by imitation, which is easiest, and third by experience which is the bitterest. Success depends upon previous preparation, 
and without such preparation there is sure to be failure. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. There is no greater delight than to be conscious of sincerity on self-examination. If the king loves music, there is little wrong in the land. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. When anger rises, think of the consequences. Never give a sword to a man who can't dance. Life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them, that only creates sorrow. Let reality be reality. Let things flow naturally forward in whatever way they like. The petty man is eager to make boasts, yet desires that others should believe in him. He enthusiastically engages in deception, yet wants others to have affection for him. He conducts himself like an animal, yet wants others to think well of him. In order to properly understand the big picture, everyone should fear becoming mentally clouded and obsessed with one small section of truth. For the wise man looks into space and he knows there is no limited dimensions. Life comes from the earth and life returns to the earth. I believe it is impossible to be sure of anything. A wise ruler, when he makes his laws, is bound to find himself in conflict with the world. When it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. It is easy to hate and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve, and bad things are very easy to get. Do the difficult things while they are easy, and do the great things while they are small. A journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, his aim fulfilled, they will say, we did it ourselves. Better a diamond with a flaw than a pebble without. Silence is a true friend who never betrays. Humility is the solid foundation of all virtues. He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. Pretend inferiority and encourage his arrogance. Superior and inferior wage 100 battles a day. A ruler makes use of the majority and neglects the minority, 
and so he does not devote himself to virtue but to law. If a ruler can get rid of private crookedness and promote the public law, his people will become secure, and his state will become well-ordered. Happiness is the absence of the striving for happiness. Flow with whatever may happen and let your mind be free. Stay centered by accepting whatever you are doing. This is the ultimate. We cling to our own point of view, as though everything depended on it. Yet our opinions have no permanence, like autumn and winter, they gradually pass away. Sacrifices are concerned with the feelings of devotion and longing. Pride and excess bring disaster for man. I like fish, and I also like bear's paws. If I cannot have the two together, I will let the fish go, and take the bear's paws. So, I like life, and I also like righteousness. If I cannot keep the two together, I will let life go, and choose righteousness. Truth uttered before its time is always dangerous. What you do not want done to yourself, do not do to others. If you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If in terms of 10 years, plant trees. If in terms of 100 years, teach the people. If I am walking with two other men, each of them will serve as my teacher. I will pick out the good points of the one and imitate them, and the bad points of the other and correct them in myself. Only the wisest and stupidest of men never change. Study the past if you would divine the future. To fight and conquer in all our battles is not supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. Only when a man will not do some things is he capable of doing great things. The people are the most important element in a nation. The spirits of the land and grain are the next. The sovereign is the least. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Old age, believe me, is a good and pleasant thing. It is true you are gently shouldered off the stage, but then you are given such a comfortable front stall as spectator. The strength of a nation derives from the integrity of the home. We should feel sorrow, but not sink under its oppression. If knowledge and foresight are too penetrating and deep, unify them with ease and sincerity. If the gentleman has ability, he is magnanimous, generous, tolerant, and straightforward, through which he opens the way to instruct others.
Do not impose on others what you yourself do not desire. To be wronged is nothing unless you continue to remember it. Great wisdom is generous. Petty wisdom is contentious. Great speech is impassioned. Small speech cantankerous. I know the joy of fishes in the river through my own joy as I go walking along the same river. A filial son to his father can be a traitorous subject to his ruler. The intelligent ruler does not value people who are of themselves good without rewards and punishments. Why is that? The laws of the state cannot be neglected, and it is not one man who is being ruled. The cautious seldom err. I hear, I know, I see, I remember, I do, I understand. Never contract friendship with a man that is not better than thyself. An oppressive government is more to be feared than a tiger. You cannot open a book without learning something. All men can see these tactics whereby I conquer, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. Know your enemy and know yourself, and you can fight a hundred battles without disaster. The way is the beginning of the ten thousand things and the guiding thread of truth and falsity. A wise man, when he writes a book, sets forth his arguments fully and clearly. An enlightened ruler, when he makes his laws, sees to it that every contingency is provided for in detail. Rewards and punishments are the lowest form of education. Men honor what lies within the sphere of their knowledge, but do not realize how dependent they are on what lies beyond it. Evil exists to glorify the good. Evil is negative good. It is a relative term. Evil can be transmuted into good. What is evil to one at one time, becomes good at another time to somebody else. The root of the kingdom is in the state. The root of the state is in the family. The root of the family is in the person of its head. Those whose character is mean and vicious will rouse others to animosity against them. If the quickness of the mind and the fluency of the tongue are too punctilious and sharp, moderate them in your activity and rest. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. To practice five things under all circumstances constitutes perfect virtue. These five are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. If we don't know life, how can we know death?
Learning without thought is labor lost. Thought without learning is perilous. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. If you do not change direction, you may end up where you are heading. A trail through the mountains, if used, becomes a path in a short time, but, if unused, becomes blocked by grass in an equally short time. Friendship with a man is friendship with his virtue. A ruler of men faces two possible misfortunes. If he employs the worthy, the ministers will use worthiness as a pretext to rob their ruler of his power. But if he promotes men recklessly, his affairs will be neglected, and he will not prevail. If a ruler of men wants to put an end to vice, he must examine the correspondence between form and name, and look to see how what is said differs from what is done. To see the right and not to do it is cowardice. The superior man acts before he speaks, and afterwards speaks according to his action. The superior man thinks always of virtue, the common man thinks of comfort. The expectations of life depend upon diligence, the mechanic that would perfect his work must first sharpen his tools. The object of the superior man is truth. Cherish that which is within you, and shut off that which is without, for much knowledge is a curse. Those who realize their folly are not true fools. When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. Kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness. Kindness in giving creates love. In a country well governed, poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country badly governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. I want you to be everything that's you, deep at the center of your being. A gentleman would be ashamed should his deeds not match his words. If you look into your own heart, and you find nothing wrong there, what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? Without feelings of respect, what is there to distinguish men from beasts? The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands. But the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. The general who wins the battle makes many calculations. In his temple before the battle is fought, the general who loses makes but few calculations beforehand. Secure property in hand leads to peace in mind. Every duty is a charge, 
but the charge of oneself is the root of all others. A youth, when at home, should be filial and, abroad, respectful to his elders. He should be earnest and truthful. He should overflow in love to all and cultivate the friendship of the good. When he has time and opportunity, after the performance of these things, he should employ them in polite studies. To see and listen to the wicked is already the beginning of wickedness. It is more shameful to distrust our friends than to be deceived by them. The superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. Wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of men. The severe household has no fierce slaves, but it is the affectionate mother. He who is vain and delights in his own ability is deceived by his inferiors. When he likes to bring forth arguments and kindliness, his inferiors take advantage of his abilities. Those who serve as ministers can be compared to hands, reaching up, they take care of the head, reaching down, they take care of the feet. Within the frontiers of a state, there are no more than ten people who do good of themselves, whereas if one makes it so that the people can do no wrong, the entire state can be kept peaceful. If you rely on political factions to promote man to office, the people will work to develop instrumental relationships, and will not seek to be useful with regard to the law. Thus, a ruler who mistakes reputation for ability when assigning offices will see his state fall into disorder. People can have a long-term life, plan only if they know their private property is secure. Without effective protection of the citizen's right to property, it will be difficult to attract and accumulate valuable capital. A person is born with feelings of envy and hate, if he gives way to them, they will lead him to violence and crime, and any sense of loyalty and good faith would be abandoned. I once tried thinking for an entire day, but I found it less valuable than one moment of study. Human nature is such that people are born with a love of profit if they follow these inclinations, they will struggle and snatch from each other, and inclinations to defer or yield will die. When people lack teachers, their tendencies are not corrected, when they do not have ritual and moral principles, then their lawlessness is not controlled. A person is born with desires of the eyes and ears, and a liking for beautiful sights and sounds. If he gives way to them, they will lead him to immorality and lack of restriction, and any ritual principles and propriety will be abandoned. All existing things are really one. We regard those that are beautiful and rare as valuable, and those that are ugly as foul and rotten the foul and rotten. 
may come to be transformed into what is rare and valuable, and the rare and valuable into what is foul and rotten. I do not know whether I was then a man dreaming I was a butterfly, or whether I am now a butterfly dreaming I am a man. They must often change, who would be constant in happiness or wisdom. When you know a thing, to hold that you know it, and when you do not know a thing, to allow that you do not know it, this is knowledge. Death and life have their determined appointments, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Ability will never catch up with the demand for it. Virtue is not left to stand alone. He who practices it will have neighbors. To see what is right and not to do it is one of courage, or of principle. Where can I find a man who has forgotten words so, I can have a word with him? Music is a fantastic peacekeeper of the world, it is integral to harmony and it is a required fundamental of human emotion. The coming of honor or disgrace must be a reflection of one's inner power. I once tried standing up on my toes to see far out in the distance, but I found that I could see much farther by climbing to a high place. In antiquity the sage kings recognized that men's nature is bad, and that their tendencies were not being corrected, and their lawlessness controlled. Quarreling over food and drink, having neither scruples nor shame, not knowing right from wrong, not trying to avoid death or injury, not fearful of greater strength or of greater numbers, greedily aware only of food and drink, such as the bravery of the dog and boar. If Confucius wasn't born, the long night would have no bright lamp. Let not a man do what a sense of right bids him not to do nor desire what it forbids him to desire. This is sufficient. The skillful artist will not alter its measures for the sake of a stupid workman. When an enlightened ruler controls his ministers, he makes it so that ministers cannot get credit for achievements gained by overstepping the bounds of their offices or make proposals and then fail to match them with actual achievements. The way of an enlightened ruler is to make it so that no minister may make a proposal and then fail to match it with actions and results. The severe household has no fierce slaves, while it is the affectionate mother who has the prodigal son. The intelligent ruler makes the law select men and makes no arbitrary appointment himself. He makes the law measure merits and makes no arbitrary judgment himself. The ruler who possesses methods of government does not follow the good that happens by chance but practices according to necessary principles, law, methods, 
and power must be employed for government. These constitute its necessary principles. Virtuous people often revenge themselves for the constraints to which they submit by the boredom which they inspire. He who speaks without modesty will find it difficult to make his words good. The superior man understands what is right. The inferior man understands what will sell. To go beyond is as wrong as to fall short. To rule a country of a thousand chariots, there must be reverent attention to business and sincerity, economy and expenditure and love for men, and the employment of the people at the proper seasons. Faced with what is right, to leave it undone shows a lack of courage. I will not be concerned at other men's not knowing me, I will be concerned at my own want of ability. Those who seek to satisfy the mind of man by hampering it with ceremonies and music and affecting charity and devotion have lost their original nature. It is not difficult to govern. All one has to do is not to offend the noble families. Mankind fears an evil man but heaven does not. Let men decide firmly what they will not do, and they will be free to do vigorously what they ought to do. Human nature and deliberate effort must unite, and then the reputation of the sage and the work of unifying. All under heaven are thereupon brought to completion. Mencius said that human nature is good. I disagree with that. Thus, anybody who follows this nature and gives way its states will be led into quarrels and conflicts and go against the conventions and rules of society, and will end up a criminal. When you locate good in yourself, approve of it with determination. When you locate evil in yourself, despise it as something detestable. When you concentrate on agriculture and industry and are frugal in expenditures, heaven cannot impoverish your state. The duties of the ruler are like those of the helmsman of a great ship. From his lofty position, he makes slight movements with his hands, and the ship, of itself, follows his desires and moves. This is the way whereby the one may control. The ten thousand and by quiescence may regulate activity. The people in the well-ordered ages of the past upheld. The public law and abandoned private strategies. They focused their intentions and unified their conduct. Everything they did was for the sake of being employed by the ruler. A superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. How to play music may be known. At the commencement of the piece, 
All the parts should sound together. As it proceeds, they should be in harmony while severally distinct, and flowing without break, and thus on to the conclusion. The faults of a superior person are like the sun and moon. They have their faults, and everyone sees them, they change and everyone looks up to them. The superior man is distressed by the limitations of his ability. He is not distressed by the fact that men do not recognize the ability that he has. <laughs>